Hi everyone! So today I got a lot of exciting stuff for you guys. So I'm going to talk about Yomacon 2019. Um, Scarfing Scarves, Tyler Willis was there and I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to actually show clips from the Q&A, her Q&A panels. Uh, I'm going to talk about meeting her, which was awesome. And let's see, I have a little mini kawaii haul. And also there was a Lolita at the J Fashion Fashion Show, which I will show you clips to. And I will provide a link to the full video in the description. And then I got some shout outs at the end. So let's get started. Okay, so what did I buy? Um, I didn't buy much. I just have three things to show you, but they are all super cute. So the first thing is super kawaii stationery for my patrons. Um, so if you are in, I think, the fairy tier or the unicorn tier, um, you get a monthly... I just look at that. <laughs> I love these stickers so much. Um, you get a monthly kawaii package with cute stationery from, with a handwritten letter from me. And so far there are two patrons who receive those every month. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, my Patreon link is in the description below. I forgot to mention that the kawaii package is, it can be like little keychains, squishies, or Japan cute Japanese sweets. Um, so if you happen to choose that tier, uh, let me know what you would like to be receiving every month. But moving on. Um, so many of you know how much I love Sugary Symbiote. Every time I see her at a convention, I have to buy something from her. So I've bought a print from her, and then I've bought her Afro, Afro Puff Princess bag which I use every day. And I bought this shirt. Ah! Is this shirt adorable or is it fucking adorable? Like, I saw this and I was like, look, it's me. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna show you some details. Like this little unicorn here. It's so cute. Ah. And on the back, of course, it has her name, Sugary Symbiote. Uh, it's in a large, uh, I think all the shirts were in a large, so it's going to be big on me, but it's gonna be also going to be super comfy, so, and super cute, so I don't care. I know I don't wear a lot of Fairy K on this channel, but I saw this and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have to get back into wearing Fairy K more often. And the last thing is the skirt from Sweet Mildred. I really like Sweet Mildred. Um, I saw her at, fuck, what con was it? I think, I wanna say Colossal Con, and I bought that, um, uh, you've seen me wear it on here, my, that purple beret, one sec. This one, yes. So if you've seen my uh, cord or board with Candy Fay, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyways, back to the skirt. It is pink and it has all these um, shells and starfish. It's super cute. Um, and the day that I bought it, I was wearing um, Aquarium Carnival, which was totally appropriate. And I was wearing this necklace made by Candy Faye's Bubblegum Boutique. And so I thought, okay, here's another clothing item that I can wear with this necklace. Um, so yeah. Okay, so moving on to the fashion show clips. Um, so this was awesome. I, this was my first time going to like a Lolita J fashion, fashion show. So I didn't really know what to expect, but the room was huge, like, the music and the lights and I just anyway it was put on by Great Great Lakes Lolitas and Puvithel and it was just awesome and epic and I'm going to show you some clips here and then I'm going to provide a link to the full fashion show in the description. 
emphasis on, you guessed it, and Usakumia over the top coordinate dresses are from Angelic Pretty. And this wig was custom made. Experimental concepts. Accent. Note the color balance of the wig with purse. Gothic style is epitomized by mysterious, mature, even gruesome themes. Iconic. Alice and the Pirates. And Parasol. So was that awesome or was that awesome? Like I had taken some of my own footage, but uh, then after the fact, I found out that there was like actual official Yomacon footage. So I was like, I'm gonna use that instead because it looks infinitely better than my trash tier <laughs> footage. Okay, so next I'm going to show you some clips from the panels with Tyler Willis and I was so starstruck actually let me tell you how much of a dork I was okay so on Friday I wore Dolly Cat and you know it's my favorite dress it was my first dream dress and honestly I think I learned about Dolly Cat while watching last week Lolita News I think it was an episode in which she was wearing Dolly Cat so I looked it up and I was like if I don't have this dress, I'm going to die. So I wore that dress <laughs> on Friday and you know, I was waiting for the panel. There were other Lolitas starting to show up and then you know, another Lolita happened to walk up and it's just fucking Tyler just like standing there just a few feet away from me talking to the other Lolitas and everybody's talking to her like, you know, la 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 and I'm just sitting there like, like my, my boyfriend Patrick was sitting next to me and I was like, that's that's her. That's from last. That's her from last week. Lolita news, because <laughs> sometimes you know when I'm like busy or doing something, I'm walking around the house and I'm listening to YouTube videos, and I often listen to you know scarfing scarves videos, so he knows about last week. Lolita news. I was like, Patrick, that's her. <laughs> so yeah, and then she looked at me and she saw me. She was like, Oh, Dolly Cat, and I was like. <laughs> so I attended both of her Q&A sessions. I got to ask her actually a good, like a handful of questions. Like it was awesome. And then I got her autograph on Friday night. And when I um, went to get her autograph, you know, we got a selfie. Oh my gosh. She is so sweet. Like she is such a precious bean. Like she is the queen of salt. But she is also like super nice and super funny and I love her so much. But um, yeah, I was getting out of line, you know, because I had already gotten her autograph and the selfie and she was like, well, I hope, this, I hope to see you tomorrow. And I was like... <laughs> I went to talk to her after the first Q&A session, um, you know, kind of just, you know, just to talk to her, you know, for just a few seconds and to ask her if it was okay if I posted some clips um, from her panel. And when she, like when I got her attention, like I was looking at her and she was looking at me and my brain just short circuited. So I stuttered and then I paused and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm just starstruck. Who says that? I'm such a dork. Like, so anyway, here are the clips. <laughs> Any questions about Lolita fashion? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm not so sure because you are very into and love Sweet Lolita so much, but I was wondering um, what companies are good for Gothic Lolita styles? Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> no, no, that's totally fine. No, I mean, like, all fashion is dead, so, like... <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried, like, bittersweet? Like, just take an AP dress and dye it black. <laughs> that's gothic. No. Just, like, paint. Where would you get gothic? Like, fracking Alice in the Pirates or Moody or Moity or whatever that Noseless Wonders brand is. <laughs> that guy's brand. I don't know. I'm not a gothic Lolita. I presume they still exist. I can't see them. I don't know. What do you do to help engage people? Am I supposed to engage them? Oh. <laughs> Anyone else have any questions? What the fuck? That's a bird! <laughs> there is a bird in my panel! <laughs> it flew in right before you came. What? No. We're not sure how the arms building are. This is far more interesting than anything I can say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> what do you do to help people engage? Yes. When you go out tonight to say City Club, are you going to change into another Lolita? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Please. Um, I just wanted to thank you for being so vocal about supporting trans people in j -Padding. Nobody has even batted an eye <laughs> since I've started wearing the leader. That's so great. I mean... So I just wanted to thank you for that. If anything in the videos proved cathartic for you in any way, then that makes my life. Because that's, that's an experience that I could never fully encapsulate in any way, shape, or form. So the fact that anything I could have made to speak to you or lessen any kind of fear or worry that you had being in the fashion just makes my day. And I'm, you I'm did really just glad. about the best job that a cis person could. That's too nice a thing to say to me. <laughs> now, before this person makes me cry, do you have any other questions? Love you. No! <laughs> Human affection is not appreciated. <laughs> I have too much dignity for cosplay. <laughs> First off, I live in Texas and we wear blue skirts. <laughs> we don't got time for all that extra heat and fabric. I forgot what your question was. <laughs> Oh no, that's just spite. <laughs> <laughs> but after a while, when you're with someone who shares your same name, they subsume your existence and they become Tyler. I'm afraid it's gonna come flying at my head and this will be how I die. Um, <laughs> okay, so those are the those are some clips from the panels, from both panels. Um and I guess I am done. I just have some shout outs. So shout out to, first and foremost, to the Great Lakes Lolita community. Um, I know I'm in Ohio, but I'm in like Northwest, Northwest Ohio. So I see them, you know, a little bit more often. And the magic that they made happen, you know, for the Lolita events at Yomakan, just... This shout out to them for that. Shout out to Puvithel always for being awesome. I actually met her at Anna Marathon. And it was just so interesting because, you know, you know, it's just little bowling green and the marathon, whatever. Um, you know, I was looking at Puvithel's stuff, and that was my first time hearing about her. And later I come to learn that she's just this internationally known indie designer. And I was just sitting there talking to her, just like... <laughs> I didn't get to talk to her at Yomacon because she's a busy lady. Um, but she's really awesome. And shout out to her. And shout out to Sugary Symbiote. Shout out to Ms. Pirate Queen. Uh, I finally got to like meet her in person. She is a fellow J Fashion vlogger on YouTube. So I will link her channel in the description. Shout out to Sweet Mildred, who is always sweet. And last but not least, shout out to Scarfing Scarves. Just for being Scarfing Scarves and for always being 
like an inspiration to me, one, as a Lolita, and two, as a YouTuber. Um, yeah, shout out to all these awesome people. And shout out to my patrons uh, and to LCT Comics and Cassie and Holly. Likes and subscribes help me out quite a lot. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.